General. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chairman. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, want to start again by congratulating you on uh, your appointment. And uh, we've known each other for a little while now. Yeah. And I uh, know you to be a person of great integrity and fairness. So I, uh, I commend and congratulate you on the new role. And to all of the committee members, thank you, um, particularly all of the bill sponsors uh, who have been um, uh, fighting the fight for reproductive choice in Rhode Island, in some cases for decades. Uh, finally, I, I want to thank uh, all of the members of the public who are here today to testify. I, I find that this is an issue where people on both sides speak in a genuine way and speak um, to beliefs that they hold very deeply. Uh, and I want to uh, commend everyone for coming out tonight and for participating uh, in our democracy. Uh, I'm here today uh, not as the treasurer, but as a Rhode Islander, uh, a Rhode Islander who believes that women uh, should have the right to make their own health care decisions. Um, the ability to access reproductive health care is a safety issue, it is a health issue, and it is an economic justice issue as well. Um, I want to pause uh, and, and reflect on uh, the story that Representative Kushner just told. Uh, we cannot go back to those days. We cannot go back to the days when illegal abortions were putting people's lives in danger, young people, people of all ages, and the threat of that happening now is greater than at any time, certainly in my lifetime, uh, in the last three, four decades. Uh, so we live in a time now when this issue is not just theoretical in Rhode Island. It is very immediate. We know that with the administration in Washington that does not believe that choice should be protected with the new Supreme Court that the risk of Roe versus Wade being overturned is very real, more real than it has been in decades. So the time has come for us to take, care, uh, take action in Rhode Island uh, to make sure that Rhode Islanders uh, have the right to make their own health care decisions. This is a safety issue, it's a health issue, and it's also an economic justice issue as well. Uh, so I want to thank you all again for your work tonight. Thank you to the bill sponsors. Thank you to everyone who has turned out. Let's make this the year that choice is protected in Rhode Island once and for all. Thank you very much.